any listing at any time could become stranded. And what that means is you're currently not listed on that listing, even though you have inventory in stock and that's taking on monthly storage fees. Uh, it's in their warehouse. You're losing cash flow possibilities and you need to fix this immediately. There's a lot of different reasons that a, uh, a listing can go stranded. Uh, when you created it, you could have put a future sell date. Uh, someone on your team, even yourself by accident, might have uh, changed it over to Merchant Fulfilled, even though it's an FBA facility. Yes, stranded inventory can only be inventory that is in an Amazon facility or is FBA, so on the way to an Amazon facility, but stranded inventory cannot be FBM, as this is inventory in Amazon's warehouse network system that can't be sold right now because of maybe a system error, a listing issue, you put Merchant Fulfilled or switch it to Merchant Fulfilled when it needs to be fulfilled by Amazon. Another issue is that the listing might have been mistakenly deleted or closed on your behalf. It could be blocked, an IP complaint, those dreaded IP counterfeit trademark complaints. The listing could be blocked right now. Um, let's see, any other reasons? Hazmat. The listing could be under hazmat review, which if it is, you kind of just have to sit there and wait as the Amazon team reviews it. Unless they're missing the MSDS forms, you can take time and uh, send those in. We have another great video about that that Eric does about uh, sending in MSDS forms for products that aren't dangerous goods and Amazon is either stating they are or is requesting the MSDS, but that's something completely different. Now you guys understand the gist of what's happening here with stranded inventory, so let's get into it. Here from your managed inventory view, you should be very familiar with this view by now. You're going to look at these hyperlinks here in blue and you're going to find stranded inventory. You're going to click that and it's gonna bring you right over here to our stranded inventory view. So what we have here is the SKU, the product name, the FN SKU, our current price, the quantity we have available, the date that it was classified as unsellable. If a listing is stranded for more than 30 days, based on Amazon Business Solutions, their terms of services, it states right there that they can proclaim or claim that this product is no longer sellable. Doesn't have to be defective, doesn't have to be damaged, just for being stranded for 30 plus days, I think at, thir at the 31 day mark, they can claim it as unsellable and then you have to remove, create a removal and pull those back. Here you have the next column, which is date of the stranded event. You have the reason, you have fulfilled by, and then you have some options here on how to fix it. And when you hover over the reasons, it gives you more details. So here, create a new listing. There's no listing associated with your inventory. Click create a new listing to sell this inventory. Pretty straightforward. So let's take a look. Let's, why don't we take a look at this one? Um, yeah, we're looking at that one, so it might as well. Okay, let's see what this is all about. We're gonna grab this ASIN, copy it. Let's see what product this is. Creamy Reese's. Okay, so it says create a new listing and this is one of those conditions where, let's go back to our manage inventory here, right? Let's look it up here. Okay, here we go. Uh, but let's look at the SKU, TD450400, starting with 10211. How about this SKU? 1104. So here is a case where it looks like we had multiple merchant SKUs of the same product. One was deleted accidentally, I hope accidentally, and now we have some stranded product. So what we're gonna need to do is simply just recreate this listing. Real simple. I'm going to copy the SKU here. I'm gonna go to create a new listing. There it is. Uh, let's put in our price for now. We could change it. Remember that copied SKU that I just did? There it is. Pasted it in. 
it's fulfilled by Amazon, so I don't need to put any quantity in. And the condition has to be the same condition that you had the other one. Otherwise, it'll go right back to stranded, or you'll just be creating a new listing uh, if the SKU is different than the original one. The only thing you'll do is create a new SKU, and for us, then we'd have three SKUs with the same ASIN and really be driving ourselves up a wall. Anyways, it's all said and done here. We hit save and finish, and there you have it. Listings created, and in 15 minutes tops, we should see uh, this come through. So as we're creating listings, this is some of the dangerous goods now they require for every listing created. As for battery information, as I understand it, I don't think Rhesus has any batteries in them, but I could be wrong. And then the product regulation information. Is this uh, dangerous hazmat? I really hope not, because I love my Rhesus peanut butter spread, so I really hope it's not. Uh, so I put no and no for that, save and continue, and continue your shipping plan. I'm not really shipping it out, so I come down here, I delete the plan, and we are done. Let's go back to here, see if we can find this product by looking up the SKU. No, not yet. There it is. Boom. Six available. There it is. All right, 54 reserved. And just like that, we're back online. It's almost like I know what I'm doing, huh? Basically, now you know how to fix stranded inventory issues, but how about how to avoid them? Uh, so, best ways to avoid even having stranded inventory issues, at least your part on it, because Amazon Systems can also cause the issue, which unfortunately you can't do anything about it, but what you can do is cover your butt by doing the right things when it comes to creating listings, and do not create multiple listings so look up the ASIN make sure that you don't already have that ASIN in your catalog before creating a new one uh, when it comes to the bulk upload uh, inventory file template which we will show you that just take a look at how to create listings in bulk and in there if you put a one in the quantity or any number greater than zero in the quantity for when you're creating a listing right away Amazon's gonna take that as hey it's merchant fulfilled so let's say you are having product that you're gonna be sending to Amazon but you put a one in that quantity now it's merchant fulfilled even though it's FBA and it's that whole FBM to FBA disconnect that we just talked about and uh, then another issue would be if you close or delete a listing that has quantity that's in stock or maybe has recently had quantity in stock. So people say, okay, I have zero quantity left of this product. I'm not going to sell it anymore because of my inventory index and I want to keep that high. But if you close or delete that listing and a customer returns it in that 45 day period or Amazon finds product that was lost in uh, their warehouse, they have no way of putting it back into stock, so it goes into stranded inventory. I just showed you before how to handle one stranded SKU, but you can also do these in multiples. So let's say the stranded reason is the same, and right now the only ones that you could do in multiples is if it's an FBM that you want to convert to FBA, or if it's a product that you need to relist because it's missing the SKU. So here, stranded reason missing SKU. You would click the radio buttons here. You would click relist. It would handle it right through here. You would hit save and continue and voila, you'd be done. I'm not gonna do this yet because I need to see why these are missing a SKU first and go a little bit more in detail with that. So let's go up to the top and look at different reasons a product could be stranded as well, besides needing to create a new listing or relisting a product. Uh, you could review, there could be please review for quality issues and this is simply you'll just have to edit the listing and then highlighted in red will be what the quality issues are. Maybe it's an image uh, issue, maybe it's the description, uh, bullet points are missing. So there's quality issues with this listing, you'll hit edit listing and make those changes. And a lot of these are actually quality issues. Here's a qualification issue, product safety. So that's simply just requesting approval for it. Okay, and then these missing SKUs we already went through and that's just simply relisting them. Inventory error. So you see where it says filled by Amazon inventory error. Right here, what we'll have to do is contact seller support in regards to this. 
So what we would do is we would grab the skew. I prefer grabbing the skew over the ASIN as the ASIN could be for multiple skews, right? So I'll grab the skew. I'll go back up to the top, click help and go down to here, get support, selling on Amazon because that's what we're doing right now. Um, and product listing or inventory. And we're gonna say that we need to fix a listing, right? It's not active, so let's click that right here. We put the SKU in. We're gonna let the tool run itself, but at the end of the day, we're most likely gonna be clicking this contact us unless some reason this tool could fix it, which it has a couple times for us. It's a great feature for definitely for anyone, you know, to quickly put any ASIN of that's just trouble right now that's inactive and it kind of gives you the reasons it is or it can help you fix it right here right here so it, this is a great tool a technical issue see please try again later which we knew because they already told us to contact Amazon about this case so stranded inventory states Please help. And now we'll go back and grab the ASIN, right? Let's see, right here's the ASIN. Copy, paste, and put the email in. And our phone number which is optional. Thank you, we've created this case now. All right, so there you have it. Kind of went through everything to do with stranded inventory, how you can do it in bulk, how you can do it in single, the reasons it could be happening, the reasons to prevent it. And uh, also something that's not talked about is that 30 day, that 30 day window before it becomes unsellable and then you'll have to pull it back if you're not in automatic disposal. If you have it set up for automatic disposal on day 30, they can send that to disposal. And if you remember from my previous video, disposal does not necessarily mean they're going to dispose of the product. They could sell it under Amazon warehouse deals. Hey, it's their world, we're just living in it. We signed their terms of services where we decided to sell on Amazon. So that's all I have for uh, Stranded Inventory. Hope I brought some value here. Hope we're over delivering through this whole course and you guys are loving it. Please always give us feedback on how we're doing. Uh, I, just, I just really hope I'm able to help you grow your business to the next level. Stay lit. Okay, so let's start off by going to Manage FBA Shipments. Right under the Inventory tab, you'll click Manage FBA Shipments. And right here is your shipping queue where you can see your current shipments. 